and welcome to the best show on the internet. Yeah, I agree, it does sound wrong, but I'm gonna stick with it. This week we're playing a game where you do mine, but thankfully you don't craft. We're playing Deep Rock Galactic. It's dwarves in space. Side note, you know who I never understand? People who pick dwarves as avatars. When I step into a fantasy game, I don't wanna be a short, hairy guy. I wanna be a tall, handsome powerhouse who's super rich. The exact opposite to real life. Deep Rock Galactic is a first-person, cooperative, resource-gathering, exploration, dwarf waifu simulator. This game caught people's attention with its low-poly, high-color visuals, kind of like No Man's Sky, whilst at the same time appearing to have gameplay, unlike No Man's Sky. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Planet Hoxes. We have flares that we use to light our way. We're playing the gunner. Walls are looking pretty jazzy. And we do Deposit our Morkite. When there's earth here, that means that you're supposed to go through into another section. I'm not sure why that's necessary, but sure, what, whatever, go for it. All right, we're gonna mine more Morkite. We've gotta mine more Morkite, mine all the Morkite we can mine. Oh. The only good bug is a dead bug. Your pockets fill up super, super quickly. So you have to call the robot over, deposit your Morkite. Oh, we've got a big mama here. Oh, nearly hit my own robot. That's not good. We're killing that guy because he explodes. Let's kill this Glyphid Praetorian. He's big. He doesn't seem to pack too much of a punch, but what he does have, check this out, yeah. When you kill him, he lets off a gas that hurts, so that sucks. So there's the grappling line. Pretty simple to use. Oh, I'm seeing some, definitely some glyphids. What's this on the wall here? Gold, ah cool. Gold gets you more currency at the end of the level. So it's always good to find that. Oh, there's some more kite down here. I'd be very tempted to walk over this land bridge, but, you know, gotta follow the Morkite. Here's a fun thing. If we can set up a grapple, we can follow it along and mine while we're, ah, oh, while we're on the line. Dream! That's it. That's all we need to do. It seems like management are pleased with me. This will be the first time that's happened. It's time to call a drop pod, take us back to base. Drop pods on the way, is it ahead of me? Well, I guess we'll follow the robot. Hey, Glyphids, how you doing? You're trying to stop me from leaving. They liked me being here too much. Is he still coming after me? I guess so. I don't know if I killed him or not. I have four minutes to get back to the mule, back to the drop pod. I can see the robot doing it, so I know I'm going in the right direction. Worst case scenario, I could actually just dig through the wall, which would be cool if impractical. And I'm not sure how long it would take. There it is. The ramp sort of awkwardly shot out into the wall. But we've exited and that's the tutorial done. Not bad, huh? So the tutorial throws you into a fairly ho-hum situation where you go to find a mineral and it teaches you how to play the gunner. Here's a fair warning, everyone's gonna want to play the gunner. I mean, everyone. Everyone! There's probably a good reason for it though. The gunner is responsible for killing stuff, but he has a pretty useful grapple line. So he can solo if he wants to. You have the engineer, he seems pretty promising. He can put turrets down, he has a platform gun. But the reality of it is the turrets take too long to build and the platform gun seems pretty niche when the gunner has the grapple line, which does a better job. You have a driller who has drilling hands and a flamethrower. He's gonna be pretty popular because he's insane in close combat and he can pretty much just run through walls given how fast his hands dig. The redheaded stepchild for me is the scout who's meant to be sneaking ahead and providing light for the rest of the team. I played everyone but the scout because it seems like a bitch roll. After the tutorial, you're let loose on your ship to explore or dance, and it's a pretty good opportunity to partner up with people who are either AFK or don't know what they're doing. So let, let's do that, sure. I don't think this guy's going anywhere. I don't think he has any intention of doing anything. Oh, that guy's having fun with the lift. Um, 
Yeah, a little awkward. Group leader, completely AFK, not picking a mission. Okay, we found a new team now. We've picked a mission and everything. How exciting. I've decided to be an engineer. Try that out. I'm not particularly confident. I haven't tried the engineer out yet. But I'm excited, excited to, to be going on, on this mission. mission. We're coming into this as a three-man team. I'm the engineer, we've got a driller and a gunner. Oh, and some internet shaming here, as we get loading bars for each individual person. That doesn't seem right to me. My internet isn't that great though. That's fair. <coughs> Alright, let's take it away. These dwarves have some interesting voices, don't they? They certainly do. Let's go, boys. These caves look nice. Immediately I've lost my team. I guess we should be following the driller, right? Oh, you want me to go this way? I'm more than happy to. Let's do it. Are you not coming with me, driller? A driller's going off. For God's sake, what are we after? Just more kite, is that it? That's it. I want some fossils. Whoa, hello. Oh, hold up, there are four of us now. There are four of us now, how did that happen? I didn't see that. This is cool. I wanna try out my turrets soon. See how they go. We put one down. This looks like a nice big open area, so let's try out the turrets. Put them down, and then you have to build them. And they have limited ammunition? Okay. I'm not a fan of the turrets already. The engineer just seems like a crap Torbjorn. Like a real crap Torbjorn. That guy's just decided to dig down. Don't know why. The mini-map is functionally useless. It doesn't show your allies on there. It doesn't show tunnels. It doesn't show depth. Oh. What happened to you? He's been webbed up. Oh, there's a glyphid. So turret goes down. I build it whilst getting hit. Oh, okay, let's, let's see whether these sentries can... Nope, too late. I wanted to see whether the sentries could kill the Praetorian. Turns out my teammates can kill the Praetorian way quicker than I can put up sentries to kill the Praetorian. Eee, engineers seeming awkward. Okay, apparently there's a big glyphid swarm going on and I don't know where any of my team are. Ah, <sighs> because no one sticks together. Oh, good, and they're all here. Uh, how many? I've got 82 shotgun shells. See, I can drop sentries, but it's pointless. I can't see anything. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. Where are my teammates? I have some grenades. I was going to try and use them to get rid of the Praetorian. Hey, man. What's up? You, uh, you lose weight? Is that two Praetorians? And a bunch of kids? Don't like the kids. Let's just... Let's just try and blow them up, shall we? Damn. Sentries down. There are so many Praetorians. This is dreadful. Oh, hey, Gunner. There you are. Thanks for showing up. We need to resurrect this gunner because I'm not going to be able to effectively take out this Praetorian without him. Get up, buddy. Hooray. I think that might be the wave over. Hell yeah. What's down there? Oh my god. Oh good. Great. 
Okay. So what's the larger game here? You complete missions, you collect gold and currency, you can unlock skins for your dwarf, and you can upgrade your dwarf's weapons. But if I'm honest, despite being procedurally generated, the levels seem to get old pretty quickly and the gameplay is not exactly innovative. It definitely feels like there's more to come with this title, so I'm hoping we get some added depth, both figuratively and literally, further down the pipeline. A lot of the game mechanics feel pretty good, especially the gunner's grapple line, but some of them seem to be put in place just to inconvenience the player. For example, there's a limit to how much you can carry, and it's not a lot, so once your pockets are full, you have to call over a robot so you can store what you've mined. It takes a few seconds for the robot to come over to you, and it takes a few seconds for you to transfer your inventory into the robot, and it feels like if you're gonna give the player mass storage, just give the player mass storage. Don't make them wait around for several seconds in a first person shooter when they wanna just go and explore. Deep Rock Galactic's pretty promising so far though. I would say it's more of a play with your friends rather than solo or strangers online kind of game. Thanks so much for watching Adam Tries Deep Rock Galactic. Remember to leave a like if you liked it and leave a comment if you've got something you would love Adam to try. For example, hey Adam, please try not throwing to yourself in the third person. It's weird. Please stop doing it. Peace and love, Adam.